Hey there, family! My name is Bo, and this is the Prophetic Team, and we're here with you today with Prophetic Love Notes. <laughs> Hallelujah! This is Prophetic Love Note number 12. That is a good number. It's an apostolic number. It's a governmental number. And if you notice, I think it's actually divinely set up today from heaven for us, for you. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but a uh, dear father in the faith passed away just recently, John Paul Jackson. And he's not the only one. Bob Jones also passed away very, very recently. And there's, oh, we love them and we honor them. And since this is prophetic love notes, we owe uh, much of our are moving in the realm of the prophetic to them for them they they've plowed the way they've paved the way for us and i don't know if you've noticed but just recently since this there has been an increase of the prophetic and we, and and i want you guys to catch it and to move in it with us um to honor them and to bless them as their spiritual children and you know um, don't be afraid just like the lord said to jeremiah i put my word in your mouth when you begin to speak with the heart of encouragement, to encourage someone, to love someone, you can't go wrong with that motivation to really love on them because that's what the prophetic is. It's edification, exhortation, and comfort. And his promise to you is that he will put his word in your mouth. So speak and glorify God and build up the body of Christ. We love doing this. This is a very special day. Number 12! Mm. Yeah! Starting first mm. with Nikkei. <laughs> so Elisha, I have a word for you, and as I was praying for you, I had all these scriptures just start running through my head, so I'm going to read off a few um, portions of scriptures for you to begin. Um, the first one is from Proverbs 23, 7. For as he thinks within himself, so he is. Uh, Matthew six twenty one. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And then Luke six forty five. And then also, the good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth what is good. And as I was praying and having these verses go through my head, what I saw was a fresh river of water flowing from your mouth. And I truly feel like God is saying that you are a wellspring of life. And the song, um, There's a River Whose Streams Make Glad the River, the, the City of God, like started like resonating in my spirit and just started coming out and and there's a part that says, I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad. It says, for he came and he healed me. He came and he saved me. He came and he washed all my sins away. Mm. And I just really believe that, you know, that this is just the river of God is just resonating within you and flowing. And that this is actually a declaration of yours. And the goodness of your heart, your rejoicing, your gladness and thankfulness in your life. Your heart and your eyes are set on the goodness and the complete works of God. And it overflows. It overflows like a river, and it brings life. So be blessed, brother. Hello, Emily. I have a word for you. Well, God's got a word for you. I heard <laughs> Anastasia. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, Anastasia. But it came up, and I haven't thought of that movie in forever. But I used to watch it all the time when I was a kid. Anyway. Uh, in the movie, this girl, Anastasia, meets up with these guys who are using her to get money. and But in the end, it works out for Anastasia's favor. And like in the movie, Anastasia is like royalty. Um, and she gets separated from her family. But I feel like there are things in your life that the enemy has meant for manipulation and deception. But God's going to actually bring favor to your life. Mm. I see him making the crooked ways straight and making a safe place for you. You are a daughter of the king and truly are a princess. God wants to reveal to you who you are and your royalty in him. Mm -hmm. There is a call of favor on your life, and I, and I feel like much will be given to you, but much will also be required. And I just want to say that um, to seek humility and, and know that all things come from God. And I feel like God wants you to know, too, that any messes from the past are present that you've been a part of, that the Lord is going to clean it all up. Mm. There will not even be a hint left of what was spilled. Mm. And what man would say is impossible to clean up, the Lord says that my blood can clean up mm. any mess. Mm. Trust in God and lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all of your ways, mm. 
and he will make your paths straight. Mm. Bless you. Mm -hmm. I have a word for Vince. It's a very brief word, actually, but really, um, I really have a heart for you, Vince. I don't know you at all. I never met you, uh, but I really have a big heart for you, and I'm praying for you. I want you to know I'm praying for you. And, uh, and um, I, I felt like the Lord was saying that he wants to invade every aspect of your life, every little bit, every minute detail, every inch. He wants it all. He wants all of your life. Uh, every area, areas you think that he shouldn't, he, he, you know, it's okay for him not to be. No, he's, he could be there too. And it's only going to flourish. You're, that, that realm is only going to flourish if you invite him in, into every area. Uh, and I also feel like he was saying that he's the recompense of your life. He makes up for the lost causes or any wasted time. He consolidates and he compensates for you. He, give, he, he fills in those areas in which you would worry or in which you would, you would feel as though, uh, you know, he, you, you may have to take it. No, he will compensate there. You don't have to take the reins. He will fill. He will fill in those blanks. So I just bless you with that, Vince. I just really want you to know I'm praying thoroughly for you. Father, I just pray right now. Father, I bless you. I, I bless Vince right now. In Jesus' name, God, I ask that you would come and take over every aspect of his life, every area, every inch, every nook, and every cranny. In Jesus' name. Yes. Mm. Mm. I had a dream last night, and in the dream, I, I heard the name... Chris Allen, and I, I heard it twice, two different times, Chris Allen. And when I was just praying right now, I saw a, a raisin. And so these are kind of clues to what the Lord might be saying and who he might be speaking to. Maybe um, middle, Chris or Allen could be a middle name or raisin could mean something to you. But actually, I heard food allergy as well. So um, if that's you and maybe that's one of your names or middle names, and you have a food allergy, or you just are someone out there with a food allergy, um, receive this healing right now. The Lord's wanting to touch you. He's wanting to bless your body. Oh, wow. um, the power of God falling on you right now and healing you yeah. from every Come sickness on. and every disease. We bless your body. We yes. bless your digestive system. We bless your system oh. from your head to the soles of your feet. In the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. be healed. Hallelujah. Mm. We'll see you guys next week. Mm. Mm-hmm.